The ancient pyramids are among the most astonishing structures in the world. Built in the ancient times by workers who didn't have the benefits of modern tools and machinery, they are a constant source of fascination and inspiration in the engineering world. When it comes to the ancient Egypt, the pyramids come to our mind, but they exist in many parts of the world. Why did the ancients build pyramids? What was their purpose? Is there any special meaning behind the pyramid shape? How were they built without any earth moving or heavy lifting machinery? Well, that questions are still left unanswered till date. In this video, I will let you know how did they construct the pyramid and also is there any tech or engineering behind it. If you guys are new to Logan the Tech Guy, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and help us to reach the huge 100,000 subscribers goal. I usually do tech comparison video here and I also do tech reviews and if the time permits me like now, I will do science and engineering videos like this one. So yeah, do hit the subscribe button, do consider subscribing and let's get started. So, what is a pyramid and how it has a magnetic field in it? Well, a pyramid is a geometrical solid with a square base and a four equilateral triangle sides. If you want to build a most structurally stable shapes for projects involving huge amount of stone or machinery, the pyramid shape is the best one for you. The first tombs of the Egyptian pharaohs were flat box-shaped buildings called mastabas. It's known as bench in Arabic. The pharaohs later built grander tombs by adding levels on top of the box to form step pyramids. Step pyramids are prevalent in Central America. The Egyptians are the ones who took pyramid designs to new heights, culminating the construction of pyramids of Giza in 26th century BC. Laborers used 2.6 million blocks of limestones and granite to build the Great Pyramid of Khufu, which stands 146 meters high, has a 230 meter square base and weighs about 6.5 million tons. A number of pyramids, including the Great Pyramids of Khufu, have survived thousands of years of exposure to the elements, a tribute to the ancient architects, engineers and workers who have built them. Scientists from Russia have discovered that the ancient Egypt's biggest pyramid can focus electric and magnetic energy in its chambers to spark higher levels of energy. Researchers state that if the same effect can occur in a small scale, then it can lead to a new and more efficient sensors and solar cells. However, the experts behind the discovery stresses that this does not mean that the ancient Egyptian knew that the Great Pyramid of Giza would actually produce electric or magnetic fields. A statement from the ITMO University, Russia, reads that while Egyptian pyramids are surrounded by many myths and legends, we have little scientifically reliable information about the physical properties. The team used a combination of mathematics and physics to make the discovery, but also admitted that due to lack of knowledge of internal structure of the Great Pyramid, they did have to make some assumptions. Dr. Andre Elvlekin, a scientist supervisor and a coordinator of the research, said Egyptian pyramids have always attracted great attention. Yeah, we know that actually, doctor, but how did the electric and magnetic energy get there? Well, to test how the pyramids actually acted with this electric and magnetic wave, researchers first estimate how resonance caused by radio wave might be induced. They assume that there are no unknown cavities inside and the building material with the properties of an ordinary limestone is evenly distributed in and out of the pyramid. A model of pyramid and its electromagnetic response were made. By calculating the extinction cross-section, the team were able to estimate how the wave energy is scattered or absorbed by the pyramid. So, what is extinction cross-section? It is also known as attenuation cross-section, especially for radar and radio wave propagation. The area that, when multiplied with irradiation of electromagnetic wave incident on an object, gives the total radiant flux scattered and absorbed by the object. Using a special type of analysis called a multipole analysis, which is a compact and accurate analysis that of describes the spatial distribution of electric charge within a molecule. This this includes the two chambers believed to have contained the remains of Pro Khufu and his wife, as well as the third unfinished chamber buried beneath the base. The ancient Egyptians that built the pyramids more than 4,400 years ago were not aware of this quirk of design. However, researchers now believe that the relationship between the design of the pyramid and its ability to focus wave energy through its core 
could play a hugely important for nanoparticle research in the future. When considering the pyramid on a substrate such as the limestone plateau, the researchers say it focuses the energy through the empty spaces to the substrate. In the case of the pyramid on the substrate, at the shorter wavelengths, the electromagnetic energy accumulates in the chambers, providing local spectral maxima for electrical and magnetic fields. So in short, it's basically saying that the pyramid scatters the electromagnetic waves and focuses them into the substrates region. And this is how they found out that the electromagnetic properties on the Great Pyramid has a first multiple resonance and energy concentration. Although you can make many assumptions about how the ancient Egyptians were organizing the pyramids to create the best electromagnetic radio setups for the date, it is highly unlikely that the ancient Egyptians knew these properties actually exists and it is just an interesting coincidence of how the pyramids actually stand. So that's how they actually found out the electric and magnetic field in the Egyptian pyramid by using the extinction cross-section method and also the multiple analysis they found out the spatial distribution of electric charge within a molecule. The research on the electric and magnetic field on the Egyptian pyramid is still ongoing and I'll make sure to make an updated video if there's any new findings on this research. So make sure to be subscribed for that. And if you have any thoughts or constructive criticism, then do let me know in the comments below. And if you want to suggest me any science and engineering topics to be made in this channel, then do let me know in the comment sections below as well. Like this video if you did find this video helpful and if you have learned something new. And if you want to see more from me, then hit on the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon. It is always really appreciated. Check out my other tech related videos and I will catch you next time right here. All love and peace out.